there's a saying that I've always liked um, about stars, uh, the those big balls of gas floating through space right now, that the star that burns the brightest burns out the fastest. You know, some people apply this saying to candles as well. To say the candle that burns the brightest burns out the quickest. Obviously, with the um, the the candle wax going down to the bottom of the uh, candlestick, because it would be burning so brightly and so so warmly that the candle wax would inevitably become water and deteriorate. I like this idea because symbolically what it has to do with is obviously the idea of burning bright has a certain connotation to it. Um, the idea of doing really well. When, when someone in school, for instance, says that you're really smart, which is meant to signify a very good thing, they'll tell you, you're, you're bright, you're a smart guy, you're a bright guy. Um, you know, generally things that are big, that are a big deal, are considered to be burning brightly, that they're beautiful, they illuminate the room. Um, and this idea uh, of living a short life, of being alive for a short amount of time, but living that life to the very fullest that you possibly can, has been an idea that I've long since been a fan of. Uh, there was a very controversial Facebook post I made in 2015, five years ago now, um, about how if I can live the life that I want to live, and I can enjoy it for everything that it is, that I can live the most fun and fulfilling life, that I would be willing to die when I'm 50 years old or younger. And to be quite honest with you, looking back, I think 50 is already a high enough number to shoot for, if not too high. Um, that looking back, I've always wanted to see life as an opportunity to enjoy it as much as possible. Because if I'm here, then I don't want that opportunity to be wasted. S existing is already hard enough as it is. Now you're put on this planet. You're put on this planet against your will. You never asked to be born, but you're just here. You're just put on this planet. And if you're going to be on this planet, then the very least you could do is use your time in a way that's stimulating, fun, nice, interesting. And, um, that sometimes involves taking risks. It sometimes involves putting yourself into at least moderate harm's way. But doing so in the name of enjoying yourself, having a good time, because that time is limited. And if you're going to be forced to be here, then you should at least enjoy it. I think a lot about the collapse of society. The fact that, you know, 92% of all of the emissions, that the energy that we use, is done through coal, oil, and gas, which are very quickly um, leading to things like the Arctic being on fire and... Um, you know, widespread pollution causing people to uh, have breathing problems, um, you know, the earth heating up at a rapid rate. Um, in the next couple decades, people aren't going to have clean drinking water. Um, in the next couple decades, people, people aren't going to have a future for their children. They're going to live out a 
severe dislocation of climate refugees and of um, general suffering. And um, considering all of this, and the fact that at this point there really is no way out, um, I don't know why people take life so seriously. So every everyone takes the things they do and say so seriously. Like I don't know why people don't just live a little when there's only so much we can so much more time we have, you know. Industrial society, from the beginning, was set up to fail. The more cities we build, from being able to use things like fossil fuels, inevitably lead to a larger expanding population, because the more those cities develop, the more leisure time people have, giving them more time to have children and for their children to have children. And then, what do you know? More energy is being consumed. And as more energy is being consumed, more people come into the fold, who inevitably consume more energy. Humanity was set up to fail from the very beginning. Industrial society and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race, technological progress, and the misuse of it, the irresponsibility of it, have led to the disaster that we're witnessing before our eyes. And, um... Not much we can do about that, other than enjoy the ride on the way out. Oh, guys. Guys, it's raining now. I don't know how well you can hear me through the headphones microphone, but it's raining now. The rain is so loud, I don't even know if you can hear it. I don't even know if you can hear the rain, but I, I'm so drunk. I got so drunk. I was in a call with no thank you and I got so drunk and and I I ate food to sober up. I had a a pizza. I had a pizza food to sober up and I'm still not sober. <laughs> I I I was like I got so 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 drunk and I'm really drunk right now. And and it's raining outside, and I kind of wish I didn't start eating food in order to sober up, because it's raining outside, and I kind of, yeah, I kind of didn't, I'm starting to s sober, and yeah. <laughs>